Culture Heads, what's up? We're back for another exciting edition of Culture News Today. Yes, sir. One second, loading up this Anthem Culture mobile app. We got a lot of new things happening around the world of culture. Keep you guys updated. As everybody that's been following along, we got a lot of new stuff coming out with Anthem Culture as far as like just content, media production, moves, everything like that. So stay tuned. I'll inform you guys of everything and make sure you continue to check out Anthem Culture Connect. Hit me up. Um, when you go on there, like we could chat, chop it up about everything, Anthem Culture Show. Holler at me. Uh, we're all over the place, man. Shout out to all the culture heads all around the world that's making moves themselves. Big ups to you guys. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all about inspiration all around the world. So, I don't know. We got a lot of cool stories for today um, in the world of culture. A lot of exciting news. So, we're about to jump into the app right now. See what's new. See what's popping around the world. So, let's get to it. Fashion brand Kenzo. Really cool brand, dropped a lot of cool pieces for those of you who follow them over the past couple seasons. Well, now they're planning for their 2018 summer season. I know way in the future, but they're already getting things together. They took a trip out to Nigeria during a really popular festival out that way and filmed their lookbook, got some inspiration, and they're actually going to be screening a special visual surrounding it in their London store on April 27th, I believe. So you can read more about that on anthemculture.com. Check it out on an app. And they're even going to be dropping like publication, telling the story and inspiration behind it. They took a lot of clues from the Nigerian culture, so it's pretty cool. So check it out, anthemculture.com mobile app. Out in Cordoba, out in Spain, they're actually having a very cool courtyard festival. Um, apparently out there they have so many different courtyards and just garden type areas. And now for this festival, they're opening up to the uh, public. It's actually a competition for a lot of people that have like these huge car courtyards. So they're going to be sprucing them up, plant new trees, flowers, real colorful, nice smells, all of that. You get to walk through, judge for yourself and get the official rankings from the judges once they finally get judged. So that's going to be happening soon. So bring your cameras there. It's going to be a great photo opportunity for some great scenery, landscaping and all of that good stuff. So check it out on the Anthem Culture mobile app. So there's a jewelry company actually, really cool. They're actually talking a lot about um, the influence of Indian jewelry over the past couple uh, decades, centuries. Like they really take it back and really talk about like how the jewelry evolved and where you could find it around history and culture and even popping up um, and influencing places all around the world. So they have like a lot of photos, a lot of information on the history of um, Indian jewelry. So. Make sure you read more about that on anthemculture.com and learn some more about um, a cool piece of their fashion industry. So the largest techno festival is happening out in the Netherlands, I believe. Um, it's called The Gathering and it's going to be a collaboration from a lot of different UK promoters as a way to just showcase peace, love, harmony and music all combined into one so they're actually calling it the largest techno festival it's going to be a lot of performers djs um the lineup hasn't been officially released yet but keep an eye out for that so we actually have the story and the link up on anthemculture.com right now where you could get more information if you're out that way um even check out the dates and everything like that so you can find more information right on the mobile app anthem culture so there's an art gallery out in Aberdeen, Scotland, for those of you who know, they've been going through um, renovations for it just to really take it to the next level. So they're almost at their mark. So in order to reach that, they're actually collaborating with one artist and he's producing a limited run of um, prints and he's going to be selling these as a way to help fundraise for the for the renovations and even be a part of like the whole overall um, exhibit because uh, he states in an article that this um, this museum helped launch his career pretty much take him to the next level so he's giving back showing support for who supported him so that's definitely cool so you could check out the artist um, his paintings prints where you could get them and even if you want to help support um, the renovations of the gallery you could check more about that all of that information is right on anthemculture.com or directly on the mobile app if you want to do it that way more stories, more news, more information. Every single day, Anthem Coach, we have things rolling in from all around the world. Shout out to all of our sources, our network um, that makes all of this possible. AnthemCulture.com makes sure you check it out all the time. Stay updated. 
Um, make sure you download the mobile app, AnthemCulture.com mobile app, on the iTunes Store, Google Store, coming soon. Uh, I want to get your guys' feedback on that. Let me know what you guys think of it and everything, all of the alerts, notifications. Make sure you activate those so you could really stay on top as soon as like news hits from like anywhere around the world. It's pretty cool. So, AnthemCulture.com. Make sure you check it out. Shout out all the culture heads. Appreciate culture.